Hi everyone, um, let's quickly take a look about how today's market panned out for the Nifty. We're talking about the 13th of November 2018, quick daily market wrap. We had one volatile day. Let's quickly take a look at the 15 minute charts. Um, this is how we opened up, slightly on the lower side. The 15 minute bar shows that we got a bounce back after the opening, then a follow through selling and then a sharp recovery. The daily chart obviously suggests some kind of a piercing, but this is not a piercing pattern because it's on the top of an uptrend. If that same thing had happened on the downtrend, then it would have called an engulfing or a piercing pattern kind of a format. Anyways, um, what we have is essentially the market trying its best not to fall. And it's finding it very difficult to break above the higher upsides, which is close to that 10,650, 10,700 mark. This zone, 10,700, 10,650 is acting as the immediate short term resistance very clearly and on the downside today's low will play a very important role because today was a day where we had noticed follow through sell off after tomorrow after yesterday's selling and then it managed to bounce back quite well quite well um, which was supported by most of the indices um, let's quickly look at the pullers and draggers in today's market on the nifty and you would see that the Majority of the contribution is coming from Reliance, ICICI Bank, big move up as the stock goes to all-time highs, followed by HDFC. Now, HDFC is a heavyweight and it's within a range, so cl closely keep a watch for the breakout. Larson has been holding exceptionally well since the bounce back it had given, and I sense that uh, this, this breakout is definitely likely to uh, continue. If you've been following my YouTube videos long back, I had mentioned that Larson and ICICI Bank, these are the two uh, really encouraging, impressive long-term charts that I see when I move on to the monthly time frame. NTPC, a rare 3% bounce back. Not much can we expect. Axis Bank, uh, disclosure, we have a long trade on this stock. Uh, we have recommended to our clients. Um, I like the fact that it had moved into an uptrend. It, go it goes through a consolidation. I had an inside bar in uh, yesterday's close. And we have uh, today's high, which is higher than yesterday. Uh, weekly charts also suggest that the trend is intact and the 75 minute chart suggests that we have kind of a descending triangle uh, breakout. So we are long on that. So overall, there have been uh, pretty good participation coming in from most of the sectors like Reliance, ICICI Bank, ITC also plays on well. On the downside, it was essentially pharmaceutical stocks which saw a bit of beating today topped by Sun Pharma, which was down over 4.5%. Not a very good looking chart. I like the weekly charts, which is close to this very important breakout uh, zone. If this zone holds, which is close to that 540, 550 mark, there's still a chance, but today's move was very sharp. Uh, Tata Motors, the tragedy continues as the stock fails to hold above the 200 mark again. And uh, what do we say? You know, weekly charts are weak. The monthly charts are deep oversold. Uh, on the daily chart, we got some resumption of fresh selling. Stay away from it. It's not the best of time. India Bulls Housing Finance at resistance is struggling. Um, you can see a quick ascending triangle formation over here. 890 is the breakout. On the downside, I think a break below last Friday's low of 822, which is let's say use 820 and bring in some weakness. Autobindo Pharma also sold off very sharp. The chart was looking impressive, but then uh, with today's 2 to 2.5% cut, it has given up quite a bit. Um, in today's trade. There you go, Sipla, we have seen such a sharp sell-off and there's no sign of bounce back. When you see such sharp sell-off and there's no sign of profit booking from the shorts or value buying from the long-term um, buyers, it's a sign that probably, not probably, surely that weakness is there still into the system. Now, Lupin is another pharmaceutical stock which should be on your radar for sure because it's kind of forming a coil. If you, click, if you closely keep a watch on this, you'll notice that supports and resistances are getting smaller and smaller and it's getting into a coil. So coil breakouts are generally very sharp. Keep a close watch on it. Um, I'm keeping a slightly bearish tone to this formation because keeping in mind that most of the stocks in this sector um, is underperforming. So nifty range bound, little bias on the upside as long as we see a breakout above recent highs. Bank nifty on the other hand, give an exceptionally good move thanks to ICICI Bank and it's also facing resistance close to that 26, uh, 25,900, 26,000. A breakout above this will definitely surprise the shots and we might see uh, fresh buying on the upside. So overall call, 
Nifty cautiously bullish as we continue to stay. Um, breakout is needed above the 10,650 mark. It needs to sustain above that. They keep in mind this falling gap, which can act as a source of supply if it manages to break above 10,700. It's a tricky market. It's a volatile market. So trade less, trade small. And please, if you're trading, especially in the derivative segment, definitely use stop loss. Thank you for listening up. Uh, I'll try my best to keep on continuing posting these daily and weekly market wraps. Thanks a lot. Trade well, trade wise.